You're watching Time Warner's local edition, The Sacramento Report. Hello, everybody. I'm Jaime Garza with me, and it's always a pleasure to have her with us on this program, Inspector General Laura Chick. Good to be here. Appreciate it. It's been almost a year now since you've been appointed to this position, so why don't you just give us a report card of what has been happening over the last 11 to 12 months in terms of federal stimulus money coming to California and, and how it's being used and funneled and things like that. Okay, so really quickly, uh, California is getting more uh, Recovery Act stimulus dollars than any other state. And I'll just throw out the wild estimate of uh, at least $50 billion, uh, some of it going directly to cities and counties and not coming through the state, but most of that $50 billion coming through the state. And then if you add in tax-exempt bonds, low-interest loans, no-interest loans, you come up to about $80 billion. A big question everyone's asking is, so where is it? Um, you know, as the Recovery Act passed, the bottom was falling out of our economy. And quite frankly, a lot of that money has gone to shore up uh, keeping more people from coming, becoming unemployed. So it's kept teachers on the payroll and cor corrections officers, and it's paid for food stamps and uh, welfare payments and unemployment payments. A lot of it has gone to that. Now the money is coming out that's going out on the street uh, for creating private sector jobs, you know, road construction, uh, clean energy projects, uh, clean water projects, um, some housing projects. But um, part of this was about spending the money fast. And one of the things I found is no surprise to your listeners and your viewers, um, government doesn't move quickly. And part of the message also is, and it's near and dear to my heart, spend the money better. Mm -hmm. Do it better. Show the public that government can actually spend their tax dollars wisely and well. That's what my job's about. I don't think a lot of uh, folks have faith in that right now. I, well, I, I say, and I will say now, the Recovery Act to me is about two things. One, first and foremost, is revving the economy and, and helping to jumpstart new jobs and hold the line against things getting worse, which it has. But it's also about restoring the public's trust and confidence in government, that we can spend their money well and as intended and that's why I'm all over the place you know the first part of my job was prevention and we did fraud trainings I mean a lot of government workers are used to handing out federal dollars they were saying I'm gonna do it the same way oh you know we always have well the FBI warned me at the front end absolutely count on based on past experience that there will be somewhere between seven to ten percent fraud when this much federal money is coming this quickly that is not acceptable. It, that's, a, that's too, too much. I mean, any of it's not acceptable. So trying to prevent at the front end, now I'm trolling. Now, you know, my teams are out there looking for problems. And, and there have been some problems, uh, not criminal fraud that I'm finding yet, uh, and I hope I don't. But when I find a problem, uh, and it's part of my reputation, but it's part of my job description, I, I put it out there for the public to see, because how does anyone ever learn lessons if you don't also get to see mistakes that other people make? So we found a work investment board that out of $3 million for summer youth program, uh, wrote off $1 million for overhead. No, no, no. We figured, my auditors, about 60000 not $1 million. They agreed they're going to put the money back into the program, but, you know, whoops. So uh, what have I learned? We need to do it better. We need to do it better. And we'll be checking with you. Hopefully every month you can come out here and give us an update. Inspector General Laura Chick, always a pleasure. And thank you for watching Time Warner's Local Edition. This is about my future. My future. My future. Our nation's future. And the future of our children. Science. Technology. Engineering. And math are the foundation for a stronger America. America will once again lead the way. We will not fall behind. We will meet the demands of a new age. A new age. A new age. A new age. The future of our nation and our children depends on math, science, and technology. Visit connectamillionminds.com to find out what you can do.